Before you begin any work on your alternator, make sure you have disconnected the battery from the electrical system of the car. You will also need to remove the fan belt. Please see the links provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those projects. The alternator is attached to the fan and the fan housing. The housing is strapped to the engine case using a long metal strip that needs to be loosened and disconnected before the housing can be removed. Remove the coil and the few select screws that attach the fiberglass engine shroud to the fan assembly. The long metal strap does not need to be completely disconnected from the case. Leave it attached to the case at the bottom. Once the housing is disconnected from the engine, remove the rear cream-colored plastic air guide that surrounds the rear of the alternator. This piece is held on with nuts that are attached to studs located on the alternator. Be careful not to crack this piece when you are reinstalling it. Using too much torque on the nuts can easily damage the air guide upon reinstallation. You should have already disconnected the battery by now. Once that has been done, carefully label and disconnect the connections to the alternator. Remove the large, thick ground strap as well. Be aware that the wires are quite old and subject to heat from the engine and may be more brittle than you think they would be. Try to avoid moving them around or bending them too much. Inspect the connectors carefully and replace any that look damaged or rusted. Double check the wires upon reinstallation. It's very important not to confuse and mix up the terminals to which the wires are connected. The alternator should slide out of the housing. It may need some gentle coaxing, but be careful not to damage the studs that mount it to the housing. Some light taps with a soft hammer should force it loose from the housing. Try to tap evenly around all the studs. It's easy for the alternator to get jammed inside of the housing. The fan is pressed onto the alternator shaft and it requires a bit of effort to remove. Do not use too much force in prying the fan off or the bearing inside the alternator may become damaged. If you have any doubts, Take the fan to your local machine shop and have them use a press to remove it. Now would be a good time to upgrade to the 11 blade fan if yours doesn't already have one. Some 911 alternators have brushes in the rear that can be easily removed and replaced. Remove the brushes and inspect them carefully if your alternator is not working well. If the contacts are as short in length as they are in the photo, shown by the arrow, then they are worn and need to be replaced. If they are long, then you probably have some other internal problems with the alternator that is causing it to malfunction. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.